What is up, everybody? Welcome to game 55 of Let's Play Lee Champion for today's game. I'm going to be playing as the new visually and reworked Poppy in the top lane versus a Darius, I believe. Yes. So, um, it's pretty interesting that, um, Poppy got changed the way she is because, um, or the way she did because I feel like it's really different to what she was before. Should I be going for the Flask of Corruption here? Uh, I, I'm still kind of unsure like what I should be starting as Poppy. I've been so far you starting with Flask of Corruption. It seems to be going really well until I can't seem to be able to finish off my enemy. So that's kind of why I decided to go for Ignite this game. I've been playing with, with Teleport for a while and it seems like I always get really close to killing the people I'm fighting and then like I can't. And then I get ganked and I get destroyed basically. So yeah, I did play like two Poppy games before this one and I kind of feel like I got a good understanding of the champion now. Um, was a little bit of a bad luck as well those past two games I will say but mm, you you live and learn right <laughs> so anyways um what what changed with Poppy okay so her passive is actually pretty different uh, basically if you look close at Poppy like I didn't even realize this but you can tell that she has like this little circular thing around her like wrist and this is supposed to be her shield right so uh, the interesting thing about this small little shield is that Poppy actually uses it as a ranged auto attack uh, every how many seconds is it? Uh, 18 seconds so basically once you throw it out uh, for next 18 seconds you're gonna be able to uh, throw it again does it get reduced when you pick it up um, no the cooldown is always the same so basically uh, your next auto attack becomes ranged and when you catch the the shield or when you pick it up from the ground uh, you get a shield that actually um, a health shield that is that actually oh okay wow he really wanted to get my shield that uh, you know, it blocks some damage for you for some time, and also this this shield that you get, uh, it scales with your health, so like it kind of promotes building health on Poppy, and uh, this is kind of why people are thinking that you should probably be building Poppy the same way you build Darius and Ilawi and Garen, you know, the, the typical Juggernaut basically. But I don't know, like I feel like maybe. It, there is also some room for like more of a carry poppy so like if you go Trinity Force first on poppy uh, it probably wouldn't be so bad but I feel like if you want to do that you probably have to like get fed off of the laning phase uh, unfortunately for this game I did have to play versus a Darius so um, yeah I kinda have to be a little bit limited because Darius works really well against uh, melee champions and I kind of just have to end up letting him like push me so that uh, the jungler maybe can come top lane and you know do an easy gank basically uh, the good thing about the passive on Poppy though is that if you get a last hit with the with the shield, um, you do actually get like you don't have to pick it up off the ground. It actually just bounces right back to you. Uh, the the bad thing about the shield like bouncing off somewhere else is that it the the location it ends up in it's really random. It's not like Draven Q where like you can kind of wow I completely whiffed my Q there. Uh, it's not like Draven like you know the spinning axis where like they actually bounce towards where you're walking to. Um, level 2 gank top. Oh, okay, it was Vayne saying that to the Echo, I guess. Okay, let's hit Q here, and it's gonna hit him. Wow. Whoa, he even last hit the minion instead of me. Uh, or, auto attack the minion instead of me. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up the shield here. Last hit this with Q. Okay, hit this. Uh, oh, man. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my god, I don't have enough AD to be last hitting these. Anyways, uh, it seems like Darius kind of gave up and he just went back to base. I guess he's gonna be buying something and teleport right, right back. But uh, me staying around like this means that I'm gonna be able to kind of not catch up, but I'll, I'll get somewhere quicker than him because uh, I'll be able to just get the experience and I'll get minions too. And I'm also slow pushing this so that you know it doesn't get completely like into start. Oh, he actually never left. Okay, okay, maybe you should start fighting him then like this. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of forgot about the fact that I had Ignite. And when he was chasing me like that, he probably didn't realize that he aggroed like all the minions in my in my lane that, you know, I had slowly built up. And, uh, yeah, he just died really quickly there. And with Ignite, guaranteed death. Uh, uh oh. Here comes the jungle poppy in the enemy team. Okay. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty nice with the with the update so anyways um yeah I think Poppy is actually pretty good like 
the problem about Poppy before was that she had like a really weak laning phase, like it was really not so safe. Uh, the ranged auto attack does help a little bit with the laning phase. Uh, I'm gonna go for a phage just so that I I can kind of be safe and like go for a black cleaver if, if I change my mind. But for now, I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna go for like the Trinity Force build. It's also a really good thing that I ended up getting uh, the first blood. Otherwise, like Valen would have given it right there. Nice. Okay. Okay, so Flask of uh, the Corrupting Potion is really doing work though. Uh, to get it with Ignite, it just did some good good stuff there. Uh, there's a reason why I didn't go for the Fervor of Battle. It did kind of get nerfed in this patch. Um, it now doesn't stack whenever you auto attack minions, so it kind of takes some work to actually get it to 10 stacks now. Although if you're a melee champion and you're just like, um, what's it called, auto attacking another champion, you actually do build uh, two stacks each auto attack. So. Yeah, as stacking up the fervor is kind of harder now, but uh, it's still wow, nice. Set end up getting two kills in the middle. By the way, that set is actually my friend uh, Slippery Show. You might might recognize him from uh, the past. Wow. Oh, that ranged auto attacks also procs. Um, that was it called? The the passive or the Keystone Mastery? Sorry. Uh. No, the Q range is so short, you can't really catch people with it. Oh, I have ultimate ready. Okay, the ultimate is actually a really fun spell. Uh, let, let me auto attack this guy. Oh, whatever, I'll just auto attack the minion wave then. Or the <laughs> one minion I had to lasso it. Um, I do have to, what's it called? The, what's it called again? Grass of the Undying Mastery, Keystone Mastery, because I kind of think that Poppy is supposed to be built like a tank, like you just build a bunch of health and wow, okay. Oh, what? Okay, hang on. I just triggered my W to scare him away. Like, my W actually doesn't do anything to stop him. Uh, basically, W is like this zone that um, people cannot use dashes in. So, you just pretend it's like an Asir ultimate, basically. Uh, you can't dash out of it, but you can blink out of it. So, you can't actually flash, like, through it. But you can't, like, get out of it or get in it with like jumps so like someone like Riven would kinda get screwed a little bit but it only stops one dash from each champion that like tries to get through your W so it's actually a really interesting um, spell because this means that Poppy kinda has a good time against champions like Rengar who like try to ult in with his with his you know with his jump his passive basically and uh, Poppy kinda stops it so like Poppy actually defends against Rengar really well when like he tries to jump to your AD carry so all you have to do is like stand between or stand next to your AD carry and Rengar can't jump the AD carry anymore it's actually a really interesting um, mechanic it's it's not exactly unique because it reminds me of like Azir ultimate like I said wow I'm actually getting destroyed in this lane I should be probably uh, actually, let's just last it this quickly with auto attack hit Q here Oh man, I really wish the, the 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 zone of the Q was a little bit larger, but I guess that would make it a little bit too overpowered. Uh, the I don't I haven't really explained how the Q works. Um, basically, in front of you, like you leave like a little cone, or well, you smash in front of you like a, a little zone, and uh, in this little zone that you leave behind, it does the damage twice. Uh, if uh, whatever target you hit is still standing inside of the zone. Uh, it reminds me of a spell that I can't like think of right now. I, I don't know which spell also does this kind of effect, but uh, it's a simple spell. Like the zone, the, the little zone that slows afterwards is also really useful because it means that you can kind of peel a little bit in a team fight. Um, I'm gonna go back now. I'm probably gonna end up building this sheen. I'm gonna like completely commit to being like damage dealer Poppy here. Oh look at this! It's there. It's probably not worth to knock him into the wall. Okay, we're gonna go train to force for this game. Though I feel like the most consistent build would probably be to use go black cleaver. Okay. Uh, oh no. Oh nice. There's. I mean, uh, Dar Draven is gonna die there, but he did get a double kill. Holy crap. Oh, he misses. Sad. Oh well. Um, let's see. Wow, Darius is actually winning in farm against me. Though I did have to back there been quite a while since I backed. Oh, Darius is actually running out of mana here. I can probably fight him. And, uh, hang on. Let me, let me see if he gets cocky. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you going? Never mind. All right. Whatever. I guess it's time for Darius to back. Didn't really expect him to stay around if he was any smart, which it seems to be. All right. 
Let's go ahead and pick that up for no reason. You don't really like reduce cooldown for picking up the shield of Poppy, but I don't know. Like I just have a habit to like try and always pick it up now, so that I don't like mess up in the in the lane. Cause that little shield, well, it doesn't seem to do much. Uh, it does allow you to win some trades. I mean, it's a shield that you don't have to spend any mana to get. And it seems to last for quite a while. How long does it last? For 5 seconds. 5 seconds is quite a while. And, uh, yeah, it rewards building health. So, like, the tankier you get, the stronger it gets. Um, okay, let's just keep hitting these minions. Um, oh, okay. So, there's gonna go through here, apparently. Wow, that really hit me. Okay, I'm kind of annoyed here. Knock him into the wall. Ignite him. Don't know if that was worth it. Whatever, he's dead. Alright. So, I kind of knocked him up quickly there with my ultimate. And it's kind of an interesting ultimate. I'm, it's so much I have to go through. Like, Poppy did get quite a lot of changes. Um, first of all, the Q, dam uh, the Q sp spells damage is actually 6% of the enemy's target. Maximum health as physical damage. So, like, it... It kind of re rewards building like uh, you don't have to actually build AD to make this uh, spell deal damage, and uh, technically this spell does 12% of a ma uh, of an enemy target's health if they stand as well in the after effect of the Q. Uh, hang on, let me see if I should. Oh yeah, seal got oh the damage went up. I forgot about this. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll still go for it. I'm gonna fully commit to this build now, and... Oh, I can't really build anything with these items. Okay, okay, okay. let's go back now. So, uh, yeah, the W, this W spell, it, it also has a passive, which is basically Poppy gains armor and mag resistance based, based on how much armor and mag resistance she has. So, because I have 69 armor, <laughs> best number, uh, I'm gaining 7 armor, and because I have 45 MR, I'm getting 5 uh, extra MR. I, I, I don't know, like, basically, you, s re <laughs> you subtract the, the armor and MR value that I have, and you can kind of tell what my what my supposed uh, armor and MR should have been. But because, uh, because of the fact that I have this, like, little pass on W, I am getting extra armor and MR. It's already applied to these values. Um, so, yeah, uh, Poppy is kind of like, you, you are very rewarded for just building, like, really tanky. So, um, you can kind of tell that Poppy is supposed to be a tank. Like, she's signed to be one. But, uh, she deals quite a bit of damage thanks to her Q. I don't know, like, it, it just feels like, uh-oh, okay, Poppy's here, I'm gonna have to W her. Yep, there we go. So, thanks to the W, like, I stop Poppy's E spell. It's really nice to just, like, be able to, uh, have an anti-dash mechanic. I feel like, you know, it's so much meta game now that people have to have, like, some kind of jump or, you know, knockback kind of spell. And Poppy's W kind of like combats that well. Hang on, I'm gonna pink ward this. Okay, she's. Oh, whose ward is this? It's the enemy Poppy's ward. Okay, well, I'm just gonna be able to get rid of it, no problem. Ah, I shouldn't even bother picking that up. <laughs> it really doesn't make a difference. Okay, so Darius only has a. Uh, what's it called? A phage? Uh, where did he go? Did, did he. Where's he going? Uh, Darius is missing. I guess he's trying to go for mid. So it doesn't really make much sense why he would. I thought he was trying to go for my pink ward, but I don't know. Okay, I guess he might have gone for like the skull crab. Oh, he was trying to queue like his path that he would take to try and reach the mini way, but he didn't. Smart. Okay. Uh, hit Q here. Yes, I hit the Q. I'm gonna pop my elixirs and I'm just gonna. Oh, I wanted to go more ham on him, but. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, come on. This guy is so boring. Anyways, this little shield is actually working out pretty well in uh, just uh, fending off Darius dot harass. Come on, get close to me, Darius. Get close. You know you want to. I don't have any more elixir stacks. Uh, uh, elixir stacks. How could I ever deal damage to you, dude? Um, go ahead and get this last hit. And oh my God, this guy is so patient. Come on. Most Darius players would just go up, go up to me and just like hit me with all of their stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna have to queue there to get those last hits. No, I want this. Uh, I should be lining up better to like be able to hit Darius into the wall. Because if I can do that, then I probably just get an insta kill. I don't know if I actually missed my opportunity there. Okay, hit the Q there. He walks into it. I'm gonna auto attack him with the shield. Pick up the shield. 
I said this minion. Okay, okay. I think he did a mistake there, but I couldn't really punish it. I could flash and knock him into the wall. Okay, level 2 ultimate. That should be more damage, too. He doesn't have much... Okay, that's his last spell. He can't do anything else now. Um, he can't even use his ultimate if he really wanted to. Okay, dude, you're screwed. Next time I see you next to the wall, I'm just gonna... Oh, no, no, no. I'm too far away with my, with my flash to actually hit him right into the wall. I feel like I'm setting this up way too long. Like, Poppy's gonna come top lane and gonna screw me over. Okay, wow, that's actually pretty good. Some decent damage, and... Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Eat the ult! Oh my god, the ultimate doesn't finish him off. Oh, crap. Oh, I should've ignited him. I really should've ignited him when I did my flash E. Okay, there is no F, though. Oh, that was shitty. Oh well, I'm gonna go get my Trinity Force. Maybe Trinity Force was the main reason I couldn't kill this guy. Nice team seems to be look, uh, seems to be doing well in bot. So anyways, the E spell is pretty much unchanged for Poppy, and um, it's the Ultimate and W that have the biggest changes. Basically, the Q is also pretty different, but it's not that different. It's still like a percentage health damage spell kind of thing, but it's now an AOE, so it's like it's actually better, I think. But you can miss it. I guess that's the difference. And the, the the spell before was like an auto attack modifier. Um, damn, I really want to get like Ninja Tabbies against that team, but I can't afford it yet. So I think I'm just gonna have to compromise and go for this. Yep, something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My next item is probably gonna end up being like a a sign and call again. Deadman's plate because it's actually pretty good on Poppy. Like the fact that the auto attack, the range auto attack, also applies on hit effects means that the dead man's plate it actually gets treated as a melee auto attack so you slow with it so it's actually really good like a uh, catch up mechanic when like you're trying to chase somebody down and they're like they're not slowing down for some reason then you can use dead man's plate them and you'll actually slow them with the ranged shield auto attack whatever you want to call it oh he's gonna walk right into the trap get knocked into the wall oh oh and then echo stun also goes off nice alright didn't have to use my ignite to get him killed there that's a really nice amount of value. Okay, so with the Trinity Force, uh, I'm gonna whack him even harder with the Q, like a Q, and then auto him. I'll deal like you know the Sheen effect, and also like when I E him into the wall, my next auto attack will be stronger. Like Trinity Force just makes a lot of sense on Poppy, and honestly, like um, I feel like it might become the standard, even though like a lot of people are probably thinking it you're supposed to go Black Cleaver. Like Black Cleaver also makes sense. Like 20% CDR is nice. The armor pen means that your Q is gonna hit even harder, but it doesn't make sense to build Black Cleaver if your target doesn't have like a bunch of armor anyway. So, um, Train to Force makes more sense when you're dealing with squishies and you just wanna like kill people really fast and carry, basically. Um, but uh, I feel like Train to Force makes more sense on Poppy than it would do on someone like Ilawi. Whereas Ilawi, I feel like you have to go Black Cleaver almost every time. It just very, it has a lot of synergy with Poppy basically to go Train to Force first. Mm, maybe Rage Blade would be good? No, I don't think Rage Blade would be good actually because the only AP scaling you have is on your W. No, Rage Blade would probably be pretty bad. Whoa, careful there. If you hooked me, I probably could have knocked you into the wall. <laughs> okay. I really love this ranged auto attack though with the passive. It's like it's really neat when you're like a melee champion, you can actually pull off a ranged auto attack. It's not like gameplay where like you have one ready every three seconds, but it's still something. Oh, he walked right back into the queue. Beast. Hit him with the shield, why not? This minion. Wow. Like the fact that the shield also applies the your keystone mastery grasp of the undying, like is pretty good too. Like it just makes the deal that much more damage. Oh, boom. Uh oh, come on. Didn't have my grasp ready. Okay, we're we're gonna go for the kill here. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no! I thought I could maybe like get around him and like knock him into the wall, but I'm not that fast. That's the thing I miss about Poppy though, like the movement speed that you would get sometimes. But uh, you make up for it by having a slow on your Q. The thing is, it's kind of hard to land that slow or make them like stand still in it long enough for you to like get around them all the way and you just hit him with the E spell. Okay, you just preemptively throw down my Q there. Boom! Hit him with the the shield. Ouch. Really? That hits? That's, like, that's not even on Poppy. It's like... <laughs> it's basically hitting my hair. How is that killing me? Okay, let's just walk up to him like this. 
E him into the wall, ignite him, and he's dead. Alright. Didn't even... I probably should have used my ultimate instead of ignited him. But the thing about the ultimate is that uh, Poppy's ultimate is kind of unique, actually. And I guess I should be explaining it right now. Um, basically, Poppy, Poppy's ultimate is a Barris Q that knocks back. Okay, and the way it knocks back is it actually knocks back people towards their base. So, like... Okay, I I'm gonna demonstrate this on this Poppy. Wow, it has a long cooldown. Anyways, let's charge up the ultimate, and then boom! So basically, it goes in a straight line wherever you aim it, and um, whoever gets hit by it uh, gets knocked back towards their base. And the longer you hold it down, uh, the further the knockback will be. And now because this Poppy was like... Yeah, like... I used to use there as an example because I, I didn't really get to show it much. But, um... Yeah, they take like a little bit of damage. They take 300 damage at level 2. I'm, I'm guessing the damage goes up by the amount of uh, points you put it into it. But it's it's really good because if you can hit several people with this in a team fight, you like knock them back so far away that you turn like a, a 5 versus 5 into a 5 versus 3 temporarily, right? So if you can do this on like a, a huge tank or like just trying to get away like a tank that is hitting your AD carry. Um, you, you do some serious peeling thanks to that. Wow, okay, Darius teleported to bot lane. Well, uh, I was trying to explain the ultimate, but yeah. Uh, it seems like Poppy is like really good for team fights basically, just because of her W and her uh, her ult. And her Q is also really good for like slowing down people that are just trying to reach your AD carry, right? So, um, she seems to be a really strong team fighter basically for, for a tank. Um, yeah, like I feel like she's just better fit for team fights now, and not so much for like complete solo carrying. Even though I feel like you can probably still do that with the right item, item build. Um, I have a feeling Poppy's gonna end up getting the build of like a Iceborne Gauntlet into Black Cleaver or something like that. I feel like that's probably gonna end up becoming her, like her, um, her, her go-to item build. Yeah, because uh, Iceborne Golan is actually getting a lot of hype recently, like people are building it on Trundle a lot now, and I honestly don't like it that much, but I can see working on Poppy, like just stacking the slows with the Q and then like slowing right after with the with the Iceborne Gauntlet. Oh, the shield is actually a little bit different on that skin on Poppy. Wow, that was a lot of damage it dealt there there. Damn it. Oh man, if I had the old Poppy ultimate, I could have like killed her there. But, uh, I don't know, I want to stay safe and just keep pushing, basically. Oh look, Darius is here. Okay. I don't have any more stacks on my stuff, so... Oh my god, I missed so much. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to base and actually use my 2600 gold. I wonder what I can get with this. Probably the... Yeah, I can get demos play with this gold. No way I cannot get it. Yep, there it is. 2100. Maybe I should go for Ninja Tabby's first? No, 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 let's go Deadman's play. More fun. Uh, more health? Yes, more health. That means more shield from the from the passive. Yeah. All right, my ignite is gonna be up too, just in good time. Uh, what other damage items could you build on Poppy other than Trinity Force? That would make sense. I don't know actually. Maybe the no uh, Death Dance doesn't make much sense. I think. Maybe you almost Ghost Blade. Yeah, maybe you almost Ghost Blade. Though I don't know. Oh, Echo's coming top lane. Okay. We should really do this. Okay. Maybe he's gonna catch him. Oh, he's gonna catch him. Then I'm gonna walk him into the wall. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I would stun him. What? Are you kidding me? Okay. He's dead. <laughs> I thought he would get away there, but no. Not quite. Once again, balanced. What are you talking about? Who's balanced? Is Poppy getting all the kills? Oh, the enemy Poppy. Zero four zero. Damn. Feels bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Jungle Poppy? Is that where you're supposed to play her? I don't know, I feel like Top Lane Poppy is where it's at. I could foresee maybe Poppy being played as a, a support. Because, like, most of her spells don't really require items to be good. And, like, you're mostly supposed to go tanky anyway. So maybe there is a future for support Poppy. Because all you're doing is peeling in a team fight most of the time anyway. You're, like, not gonna be going ham uh, with, like, a bunch of damage items. But, um... Even though I feel like you do have that option, maybe like support Poppy is also like one of the more viable routes to go with this champion. I'm I'm just gonna take down the tower now. I feel like I'm just wasting my time. Uh, Darius is like, where's Darius actually? Is he dead? No, he's probably back at base. 
Oh no, he's right here. Okay, okay, okay. Pop this elixir. I'll attack him. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm so bad at like queuing up the. the what's it called? The stun, the knockback thing. Oh, and then hitting him with that shield. So satisfying to just hit him with this shield. It is extra damage, right? Uh, gaining 400 range and 160 bonus magic damage. Okay, yeah, I was thinking that couldn't have been all of my extra damage coming from like my what's it called my mastery, the grasp of the undying of the undying touch or whatever it's called. What is it called actually? Grasp of the undying. Okay, there's no touch in the word. All right, I got it. I got it. Um, let's go ahead and do this. So my ignite is up. I. Don't know if I can kill this Darius in a straight up 1v1. He doesn't have any sustain. I think I should be able to. As long as I hug him when he does his Q, I should be good, I think. Okay. What? Oh my god, I mispressed my ultimate. I just wasted it. That could have been really useful for this uh, attempted kill that I'm gonna do. Uh, okay, okay. He does that on me. I'm gonna hit him with the. No, his slow is devastating. I can't, like, hug him when he does his slow. He has hit Q here. Oh my god, dude, this Darius is starting to annoy me. Oh. But I'm slowly poking him down though. Okay, he's not getting any like health back from hitting minis with Q though. Oh, oh my god, he still hit me with that Q. Freaking Darius, such a boring champion. Oh, that was good. Hit him with the damage play on hit there with the auto attack. Okay, wow, premature Q there, Darius. Alright, wow. Demon's plate and the shield together deal deals actually quite a bit of magic damage. Even before they're gonna nerf the the shield of Poppy, the, the range auto attack because it actually pretends to be a melee auto attack, which means that Demon's plate actually gets triggered, which means that your next auto attack with Demon's plate is as slow as well as the extra magic damage. It's actually a really good combo. Okay, there's came back. I'm gonna hit him with Q here. He's gonna get away because of the slowing field of the Q. Nice. I'm just gonna blue trinket up here. Oh, hey, maybe we can flank. I should probably be trying to team up with the rest of my team here. Um, oh, hello. Oh, uh oh, hang on. I'm gonna have to queue here. So he walks into my slowing field. Oh, uh, kind of on my own here. I thought my team was with me. Oh my god, my team is totally not with me. Okay, maybe they are now though. No. Vayne is bot lane, and um, yeah, Echo's still on the way. I should probably just go back and use my 2000 gold. Oh, please don't cancel my back. Please don't cancel my back. Okay, I got my back. Uh, I can't get this yet. Damn, so close. Uh, I'll go ahead and get Ninja Tabbies, I guess. And then I'll get another Ruby Crystal to get the Starex. So I'm just gonna go full tank after going for the train to force. Oh, Zed goes ham on the Seraph. Okay, he gets back. Nice. Wow, Zed almost died. I mean, Seraph almost died. Okay, there we go. Ends up dying. Echo gets away. Thanks to the Poppy ultimate, I believe. Okay, I'm here now, I'm here now. Let's do something. Let's do something. Oh my god, please. I really wanted to get the other poppy. Guess I should have flashed for it. Oh well. Trash still dies. Uh oh, Echo dies. He couldn't have done much there, I think. Okay, let's just start wave clearing, pushing out the waves. There we go. Uh, let's just get the tower. And it's dead. Nice. Oh, Draven and Darius. I, I don't think I can do both of them at the same time. Or maybe I'm just being too pussy here. Oh, here's Poppy. What what does she have? It's a bunch of damage items. Okay, maybe I can trick her into looks. Come here, come here. Oh god, okay. Oh, they had vision of, of this the whole time. Okay, I could not have tricked them. <laughs> wow, I, I'm actually pretty strong. I'm 3 or 3 I shouldn't be so scared. Uh, maybe should be taking these crazy fights. I feel like I should still be somewhat careful. I do have Ignite, I do have Elixir stacks. Oh well. Oh, okay, there's Darius. There's Poppy coming from the river. Um, he's gonna go back the long way. I only need like 200 gold, I believe, to get this stacks. Yep. Okay. Mm. Staying top lane is probably a stupid idea. I don't think I can kill the Darius. Like, he slows me down to nothingness. And, uh, I should probably just be team fighting. Yeah, let's group up with the rest of the team and just try and get a kill here. Um. Uh, Bane is still bot lane. I don't like this anymore. Okay, wait. Wait, may maybe with Echo? Okay. Uh, I don't know if going for the. Okay, okay, okay. hang on, hang on. The enemy poppies here. No! What? 
didn't get a look snare? Damn it. I really feel like I'm not getting to display this champion to his to the fullest potential yet. Damn. Okay, Darius is just pushing top lane. Come on. We, we shouldn't be able to do something, right? Come on. Step right up. Oh! No! Okay, Draven flashed. Um, oh, okay. You know what? We're just going to go back here, actually. <laughs> wow. Sed just gets knocked back there. Ooh. Okay, Darius is coming from top lane. I'm going to ping this. I guess that's one thing you don't have as Poppy. You don't have sustain in any kind of way. You only have a shield. So once you get low health, it's actually kind of risky. You really are supposed to be like a standard tank. Okay, got my Sterox though. That's going to keep me alive for a little bit longer than usual. Oh, Sed gets hooked. Oh, this is really bad now for Sed. Sed is probably dead. Yep. Okay. Mm oh, that's a look support, by the way. Never thought about that. Um, let's see. Okay, let's hit Q here. Oh wow, looks actually ulted. I did not expect that. Like, we need health. Like, Echo should be here. Right? Like, I understand maybe Echo doesn't want to, like, group up as much because he just got killed last team fight. Oh! No! I was gonna... Oh, I was gonna knock him away from it, but then, like, he flashed with his damn... Uh, Lantern. Okay. We're doing it. Uh oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is actually a good time for ultimate. Hang on. Boom! Okay, I knocked away the trash from the team fight. Come on. Let's let's do something. Please, team. Uh oh. Oh my god, I got finished off by the Darius. This game sucks. Alright. Whatever. I think the enemy team has actually a better team fight than us, which is really strange to say. But um we do have like double assassins, both in the jungle and in the middle. And our support is actually, you know, a mage and not an actual support champion. So um yeah, we need to have a full five versus five if we want to make this work, I think. Or maybe I should just stick to split pushing. I feel like that was probably the best. But I don't actually think I can kill the Darius 1v1 at the moment. Darius is just Darius, like it's really tough to just kill him. Maybe I should have just kept trying to kill him 1v1 and just try to attract the jungle to come top lane. And that way my team would just win slowly. But the thing is, even though we're this far ahead, it doesn't feel like we can actually win versus them. Nice. Set gets uh, assassination on the Draven at least. That was my first death. Feels bad. Wow, Darius died six times this game. And he's still kind of a threat. It's that bullshit ultimate, I swear. <sighs> wow, is it gonna end up becoming another long game? What's with these long games recently? Like they made a small change to the towers where like the first towers last a little bit longer. And um now it's like Yeah. The games just last go up to forty minutes again. I hate it. <laughs> okay, anyways, I don't think I can get this guy. Oh wait, he's actually sticking around. Into the wall you go. Ignite him. Pop my pots. Just keep auto attacking him like this. Please. Oh, hit him with that slowly. Oh, into the wall. There we go. Alright. So because he was kind of low already, it just meant like I could get an easy kill on this dude. Nice. So anyways, uh, using the ultimate to try and like finish somebody off is actually super risky. Because if you don't finish them off, you're basically knocking them back to their base. So like, do you just get this HTV? Uh oh, okay. At least Draven doesn't have a red buff, so I'm actually pretty safe here. Oh look, a blue buff. Let's go ahead and do this then. Here we go. Oh, okay, Sed goes ham on the Seraph. Nice, they get the Seraph killed. Uh, Sed gets hooked. Oh... Oh god. Okay, nice. Double kill. Okay, I'm tanking this. I can tank this, no problem. It's all good, it's all good. Okay, there we go. Got him. Tanking this tower forever, dude. Holy crap. Knock her into the wall. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually getting kind of low. Probably shouldn't be taking the turret right now. Venus is split pushing Balin on her own. I guess this is alright. We did kind of have a one team fight there. It's not really a team fight. It was more like a skirmish. It never was a, like a full, four, uh, even fight. It was just like basically a quick catch. It was nice. It was nice. Uh, so, anyways, what should be my next item? I'm really having like 
trouble trying to think of like a good item path to go here. Um, maybe this would be too troll. Was Titanic Hydra troll? No, I don't think so. I think Titanic Hydra might actually be good. Mm, okay, let's go for the ti ti Titanic Hydra then. Uh, the only reason I didn't want to go for it is because I feel like I'm not getting enough resistances. They do have an, a Seraph. Even though he's like 2-9, he still deals magic damage. So I thought maybe it would be a good time for Hex Drinker, but... Uh, yeah, Titanic Hydra is just more overall damage. So he's going for the TM at first means that um, I can just deal more damage, basically. <laughs> okay, anyways, Seraph is being annoying. Okay, let's hit Q here. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, so I can see the struggle versus like range champions as Poppy. It's kind of harder to just, I don't know, close the gap on them because you don't have that extra movement speed anymore. Actually, I think you do. But where does it come from? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the W. Okay, you do still have the extra movement speed. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's fast enough. Like, yeah, I wish it had like a, a very consistent slow. The, oh, okay, here comes the catch. And hit a, uh, what? I still got the kill with my with my ranged auto attack. Holy crap! Hang on, hang on. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, do this. Into the wall. No! Oh my god! The, the gate doesn't count as a wall for them. I forgot. Damn. Okay, hit Q here. No, Echo. You should have been in the W. You would have stunned all of them there. All of them. Oh man. Okay, whatever. We're winning. We should be doing Baron. What are you guys doing? Go, 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 Baron, 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 Baron. Baron. Or? Is Dragon up soon? No, it's not up yet. But we really should have done Baron there. I don't know why we s waited for so long. Set is kind of low now. Okay, we're going ham for this. We're going ham. Okay, leave me alone. Knock him into the wall. There we go. Go for the Darius now, maybe? Okay, get slowed. Perfect. Nice. Okay, now maybe Baron? Or is it too late? Uh, the enemy Poppy is coming up now. Seraph is also gonna be up now, but if we do it fast enough, I think we'd still do it. All right, this was my call, so let's just do it. Go, go, go! Doing it. Q. Oh, I don't think they're even gonna contest. You can still see Poppy's like back in the base. Yep, they're not gonna fight for it. It's gonna be a free Baron. Nice. But yeah, uh, I don't really know like how to raid Poppy at the moment. I feel like. I feel like she could probably be a really good champion, but I, 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 I guess people haven't really figured out how to best play her at the moment, and that's kind of why I feel like it's very iffy, like where Poppy's supposed to be played, or how su Poppy's supposed to be played, like which with what items. Like I think she's supposed to be top laner, and maybe sometimes you can probably play her as a support. Jungle, maybe there is some, um, what's it called? Maybe there is some merit to running her in the jungle. But I feel like she's probably not fast enough. I, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into her clearing times. I guess her Q is actually kind of nice for like clearing and stuff, but it's not that quick. And she would probably like just get out, not out sustained, but like she doesn't have like enough sustain to actually like I don't know, be able to do good jungle runs basically. The little shield is nice, but it's only once every like 18 seconds. Does it get reduced cooldown the longer the game goes? Oh, it does. It's now 10 seconds. Okay. Oh, so that means you spam your shield even more often the later the game goes. That's pretty cool. Probably should have been able to tell that though earlier. Uh oh. So Seraph was top lane. Okay, I think we can still pull this off. Hang on, I need to get there before everybody. Or before Seraph's rather. Oh my god. Echo's still gonna die, but damn. He bought some time for the team. Can I catch somebody here? Oh my god, they had vision here. Damn it. Okay. Um, that hook didn't land at least. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go ham here. Okay, we're going ham. We're going ham. Yes, we're going ham. Okay. Come on. Auto attack him. Q here. Charge my ultimate. Oh no, I wanted to knock back the Darius. And not the, not the Draven. Oh my god, it became the other way around. There we go. Mashed him. Alright, let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, I probably should use my TM at some point there too. Holy crap. Alright, let's just go back now and get the Titanic Hydra. That would be pretty nice. 
All right, we got the Titanic Hydra, and okay. So my next item should probably resistance of some kind. So I guess it's gonna be something with magic. Um, Spirit Visage is probably not the best choice here. I guess I'm gonna go for a Hex Drinker actually. Okay, but we're gonna go for the No Magic Mantle. All right, all right, all right. All right. That felt nice though, TS killed the Darius there. Oh god, I actually accidentally clicked my <laughs> my uh, Titanic Hydra active. Alright, so this game is 40 minutes in now. It's gotten pretty long. I, I really don't like these kind of long games. Get some bad memories of like these throne games that were won like ages ago. Mm, let's go ahead and put a blue trinket there. Uh, we don't have the Baron buff anymore, which kind of sucks, but we did get the Dragon at least, which means we're going to take the towers a little bit quicker than before. We're going to get the, the blue buff again, I guess. I don't think anybody's going to try and contest this. Echo probably wants this. Okay, you can get it. I don't think I need a blue buff as Poppy. Oh, I don't really have much CDR with this build. Maybe, maybe Black Cleaver is better used for that reason alone. Oh, are we going to fight this? Okay, here is Darius. He gets caught out by me. Oh, I should probably go and ham on the... Oh, what? I get knocked back by Poppy. Holy crap. We still managed to kill Darius. It's all good. That was a really long knockback. Okay, slow down the, the trash with the ranged auto. Um, Do I flash with this? Yes, I knocked him into the wall. Perfect. No! Oh my god, that was actually a pretty good play. Um, I should have probably triggered my... Uh, <laughs> my titanic hydra thing nah we're not gonna catch him this is not worth it anymore oh these guys might no okay i'm just gonna push middle so let's go ahead and do this Boom. wow wait this uh this deranged does this thing actually trigger the hydra though that would be pretty sick if it did wow that's that actually would be really powerful i need to i need to check it now for like uh science Okay, so let's see. I have the Titanic Hydra triggered now. It's gonna hit a minion. Oh, it does! Wow, okay. Maybe that's gonna be like a, a thing then. Titanic Hydra Poppy. Uh oh. No! Shit, 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 shit. Wait, wait, what? Are we going back in or are we going back? I, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, okay. Echo's actually pushing top lane. I should have been paying attention here. Anyways, uh kind of a sloppy game even though it kind of did go well um i, I kind of am a little bit amused with like the way poppy works like she's a little bit different to what she was before for sure oh what is this i'm actually being f being oh my god okay i'm gonna have to like use my ultimate here oh i knocked back the draven i, I wanted to knock back the the support damn it whoa okay at least i didn't get knocked back no my q oh man Alright. Oh. Here comes the set ultimate. That should be set. Uh, Seraph killed, sorry. Okay. You're so dead. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Get him. No, the Draven ultimate. How boring can you be? Oh, well, whatever. I, I still think we'll win from here. Let's just get the Hex Drink there while we're at it. God damn it. Freaking Dra What? Okay. Um, I guess there was a little bit of a misfocus there. Um. Oh well, I think we still win. Like the, the inhibs are down. It's probably not gonna last much longer. Oh wow, this is. <laughs> oh my. G wow, wow, wow. That that should have been a kill. Oh well. Oh well. It becomes a long and boring game that never ends. I thought he went to the wall. Yeah, he wasn't standing like right behind this thing so it wasn't gonna be a stun sucky sucky oh well oh well uh baron is gonna be up in 20 seconds though so at least after doing that we should be able to uh close out the game because uh honestly it's getting to that point where almost any team can win but because we have like the inhibs down it's kind of hard for them to actually fully come back um Okay, let's just move out. I don't know if near Tabby's was the best choice here. It probably was because of the fact that uh, Draven is the strongest in their team and they have three physical damage champions that auto attack. <sighs> all right, all right. Wow, there we go. I don't know. This this build 
seems kind of troll when I look at it, but I think this is actually alright. Maybe there is better ways to build Poppy, but since uh, Poppy's only been out for like what, how many hours now? I don't know how many hours it's been exactly since the patch, but it's only been a day, so I can only assume that things are gonna be like constantly experimented with Poppy right now in like all kinds of solo queue ranked as well as normal queues and whatever. But I feel like this is alright. Turning to Force first is definitely an alright path, but maybe Black Cleaver is better because of the CDR. I don't know. Right now, like. I don't know, is there much reason to even have CDR on Poppy, like her cooldowns? I guess having the E-Spell up more often is kind of good, the ultimate as well. The Q wouldn't be reduced by that much, it would go down to like 3 seconds I think. I guess that's actually a pretty big deal though, to have a Q every 3 seconds, considering when you, how much damage deals to someone's health. Yeah. What? What? Oh my god, Lux is actually in bottling, we're like trying to finish this game. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to beat this game slowly and systematically by just taking out every single tower in the game then. Alright, let's do it. Kinda directed by Lux's move here. To just push bot lane. Are we that tryhard? Yeah, it's kinda my same thought. Like we, This is like the 100% guaranteed win if we do it this way. Because this way they have to deal with the mid and top lane pushing, but I, I honestly thought we were so strong we could just like outpower them. And, uh, oh god, I get hooked, but it's okay. I'm a tank. Can't forget that. Oh, kind of want to go in here. Okay, Darius is here. Gonna knock him into the wall. Let's go ham on him here. Oh wow, he just gets shreked. All right, and then our team just goes ham on them. Okay. Oh my god, please. What? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna charge up my ultimate. Boom! Oh my god, what? You can actually knock back minions? <laughs> Oh, I wanted to finish him off with the hammer. Alright, anyways, that was my Poppy gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think Poppy is a pretty okay champion. Much better lane than what she was before. And her her meaning... F she does have some meaning in the late game in team fights, But it's not so much for like solo play, I think. It's more like to defend and peel, basically. But that's alright. That's, I feel like we need more champions like that. Oh well, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, if you did like this video, it would be nice to give a like. If this is the first time watching my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to upload a new game daily. And that, thank you guys for watching. This has been me, Steve Rockstars, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next game.